Okay, well you might be interested in this. This is a Indesit dishwashing machine. We usually do the washing late at night so that when we come down in the morning it's all dry and, and bubbly. And on Friday night, this has said uh, I went to switch on the machine and the door wouldn't shut properly. Well, it's shutting properly now. But uh, she says so the machine won't start. You can push it to it, click, but the slightest thing it will come away again. So I thought, well, we won't leave it. I said, well, we'll leave it. We'll have a go in the morning. Anyway, I come along and bearing in mind the whole machine is full up with dirty washing. And uh, so I'm trying to, I mean, what I should have done is took it out, washed everything by hand, taken out the drawers and everything else. But I didn't. And that's hindsight. But, uh, so why wasn't it, why wasn't it catching properly? So I went on YouTube, loads of very useful, um, videos on how to change the lock on these, so I won't show you. But in a nutshell, all these are the same, Indesit, Hoover, anything like this. If you've got a separate panel there, just undo these screws along here, don't lose them. And then give it a sort of a, put it away from the top and sort of jiggle it and this little plastic lug sit in there and it comes away. And it will come away with cables attached to whatever you've got here. And there'll be a door mechanism, which is just there, that engages with a little clip there. And they're very problematic, but they're easy to do yourself. And as I say, you take those screws out, take this off, and there's a couple of leads that go to the to that catch because there's a micro switch which stops the machine operating unless the door is properly closed. It's held in by two screws, you take them out, you can buy a new one, they range from four quid up to about 14 or 15 quid, depending on your model. It's that simple, if that's the trouble. But I, uh, being a bit of a tight so and so, I thought, well, what's wrong with it? It's not that old. And I took the switch out and I took it in the shed and I gave it some WD-40 and I looked at it and it seems all right, it's not worn, nothing. This little piece on here wasn't worn. It was a bit loose. So uh, anyway, it transpires that it's a plastic type and it goes in a clip and they are loose. But if yours is a metal arrangement and they can, can go, it's held in by a nut. A bolt going up there and a nut on top. But to get to the nut, you've got to take the top off. And to do that, it's two screws at the back. You lift the back up, slide it that way, and disengage some plastic lugs up here and the top comes off and you can see how it's done. But that's pretty rare and they're about two or three quid. So anyway, I played around with this, I couldn't understand it. When I physically pushed this onto that catch, it went click beautifully. But when I put it back in the door, it wouldn't close properly. So I had it in and out two or three times. And if you're going to do this, unplug it of course, and that had the thing out the Oh dear dear, what a blinking, swearing and cursing I was going. I could not see. Had the hinges moved? Had this rubber come adrift here? Were these all fully back? Was there any? There was, there was nothing I could see that would stop that from shutting. So two hours later, after having this out, and I did take it, I slipped those to one side and slid the drawer right out, took all the cutlery out and put it on the kitchen table. Same with the bottom one. Had this out for about the eighth or ninth time. Put it in the door and it shut. Oh, I've done it. I don't know what I've done, but it worked. So I put the crockery all back in again, pop those back. Went to shut it and it didn't problem was something to do with these. So I took the bottom one out and it still wouldn't shut. So the problem was the top one. Well, what's wrong with the top one? You know, there's nothing in there now, but imagine it all full up with pots and pans and greasy things. There was nothing wrong with it. And it all went back as it should. I just, and I, I could not see why that was not shutting properly. But things can you know, give you false uh, impressions. This was all free. I just could not understand it. 
Well, after two hours of blue air, I did suss it. You've probably guessed already. In the top of the tray is that glass dish. And that little handle there stuck through there and went through the mesh and only stuck through that much. No more than that much, but it was enough that I didn't see that wasn't really bad. So there's a moral here, right? <laughs> this brings me on to an amusing story I've told before of a mate of mine, my fishing partner, John, Deaf John. He was completely deaf. He was a wonderful guy, he's no longer with us. He only had one fault, he was very impulsive and short-tempered. He had a very small fuse. And he was working one day in his garage, cleaning out his car he'd recently bought with his wife's relatively newfangled vacuum cleaner, and it packed up. And he was cursing at this thing, and he took the plug out, and he put fuses in it, and it still didn't damn well work. In his frustration, he got a hammer and smashed it to smithereens. And he's putting all the broken bits, having got rid of his anger, in the dustbin. Just as his wife came in and says, John, I see the electric's gone off again. Ta-da!